right good day everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel and this is Sergio's math class and today we'll be talking about bearing bearing is one of the application of trigonometry so in survey and navigation directions are generally given in terms of bearing a bearing measures the acute angle a path or line of sight makes with a fixed north south line as shown in the figure, for instance, we have the bearing of south 35 degrees is in a figure, A means 35 degrees and degrees is of south. So we have here example for this one, 35 south 35 degrees east, so from south and 35 degrees east or 35 degrees east of south. So take note that bearing starts or with a fixed north south line. So the bearing should start at north or south. So example that is bearing. So take note north or south. It could be east or west. All right, so that is all about the illustration about bearing. So we have here the two methods for expressing bearing. Method 1 with a single angle is given such as 164 degrees. It is understood that the bearing is measured in a clockwise direction due north. So take note, this is due north going to, we have 164 degrees here like this. So this is 164 degrees, so that is when the bearing is not expressly stated whether north or south, it's given only is 164 degrees. It is understood that is the direction from due north. Alright, so that is all about method 1. So method 2, the second method for expressing bearing starts with the north-south line and uses an acute angle to show the direction either east or west from the line. So take note, it started with north or south or it could be twisted from east to west. So this is examples of the bearing here illustrated. So these are the examples. So take note, when it's not expressed in a north or south line, so the direction should be from to north. But expressed in north or south line, that is what we call as our method 2. The first method is not expressed, so direction from due north, and method 2 is being expressed, starts with north or south, that is method 2. So let's start with example number 1. Radar stations A and B are on east-west line 3.7 kilometer apart so we have here if we're going to illustrate this one so if this is our direction first you have our a this is from due east which and this is our b in the west line so this is Okay, so 3.7 kilometer apart. Station detects a plane at C at a bearing of 61 degrees. So if in order to have a bearing, you have to make here a plane like this. So this is north and this is south. So we have here uh, 61 degrees so this is method one because not expressly stated that is north or south or that is due north so 61 degrees so here 61 degrees okay at a point c all right so this is the point c creates 61 degrees Next, we have the station B simultaneously detects the same plane on the bearing of 331 degrees. So we have here our B, okay, so it detects, okay, so due north, so this is 90, 
180, 270. So 270, and this is 331, so the extra is 61 degrees. Alright, so this is, okay. So this one is 61 degrees because this is 331 degrees. So that's 90, 180, and 270 plus 61, you have 331 degrees. So we have here station, find the distance from A to B. So we're going to A to C rather. So find the distance from A to C. So we will name this one as our side B. This is our C and this is our A. So take note, this is, if we're going to have a cross here, okay. So if we're going to extend this part, okay, if we're going to extend, we could say that there is an interior angle to this one. So therefore, we could say that this part is 61 degrees. All right, so because this is alternate, alternate interior angle, okay? And this one is, uh, we have 61 on uh, 90 degrees minus 20 uh, 90 degrees minus 61 degrees we have 29 degrees so therefore this is 29 and this is 61 so if this is 61 degrees understood that this part is 29 degrees because this is alternate to this part interior here and it forms 61 degrees here so therefore the extra to make it or the complementary to make it 29 degrees so therefore it is understood that is 90 degrees okay so this is 90 degrees so now we could make use of pythagorean or no, no, we will not make use of the Pythagorean theorem, but we could make use of sine or the, the functions or trigonometric functions. So we have here, if we're going to compute this B, so what we're going to use, if we're going to make use of this part, 29 degrees, so the given only is 3.7, the angle 29 in B. So this part is the all right, so if this is the 90 degrees, so if we're going to have this one, this is adjacent and this is the hypotenuse because this is the longest side opposite to the uh, greater angle. So therefore, this is the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. This is the adjacent. So therefore, we have here cosine 29 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is the adjacent which is b over the hypotenuse so adjacent over the hypotenuse adjacent over the hypotenuse so we have here adjacent is b and the hypotenuse is 3.7 km so cross multiply so b is equal to 3.7 km times cosine of 29 degrees so if we're going to calculate that one in a calculator, the result is, and that is approximately, we have 3.2 kilometer. So that is 3.2 kilometer. Why I'm using, because we have here two significant figures. Okay, we are here having a two significant figures. So therefore we have 3.2 kilometer. So we could make use of still in this part, which is 61 degrees. So we could make use of sine because this is opposite and this is our hypotenuse. So sine 61 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 
B, over the hypotenuse, which is our C. So therefore, we have sine 61 degrees is the opposite is unknown. And we have 3.7 kilometer. So B is 3.7 kilometer times sine 61 degrees. If you're going to compute that one in calculator, the result is, so B is approximately, we have 3.2 kilometer. So the same way, we are going to make use of the two angles, yes, the same result will have. Okay, so that's all about problem number one. In problem number two, a ship leaves a port and sails on a bearing of north 47 degrees east for 3.5 R. It then turns and sails on a bearing of south 43 degrees east for 4.0 R. If the ship's rate of speed is 22 knots, that is nautical miles per hour, find the distance that the ship is from the port. Okay, first is we're going to draw here. Okay, a plane. First is a ship sails in the north 47 degrees. Okay, here. If we are going to have this one as 47 degrees north, we have 3.5 R. So next we have, and then turns. So we're going to compute first the distance. The distance is equal to rate times time so the distance in this first bearing is 3. Point, uh, we have 22 22 22 times this is the nautical miles per hour times 3.5 that is equal to 77 nautical miles Okay, why is it 22? Because the rate is 22 miles per hour times 3.5 R. So cancel this part. So they have 22 times 3.5, we have 77. So this rate times time. So the next one in D2, we're just going to compute first. In this degree uh, 4 so we have 22 times 4 that is equal to 88 nautical mile okay so this is 77 nautical mile okay 77 this is our nautical mile and this is the point here it turns 43 degrees, so mag you're going to draw another uh, plane here. So this is south 43 degrees, so south 43 degrees, going to, okay, this is 88 nautical miles per hour, miles rather, so 43, so therefore the angle here is this, 43 degrees same a while ago that if that is this part so this part is 47 by the use of alternate interior angles so if we're going to find here if this is our a c and b we're going to find for distance from ship from the port so from the port to the ship here okay if this is the ship okay if this is a ship so we're going to find the value for this one so we have named this one as x so if this is 47 degrees this is for yes 47 degrees and this is 43 degrees Okay, so we are going to compute for 
since this is 90 degrees, we could make use of Pythagorean theorem to compute for the value for AB. So we have here AB is equal to X. So if this is our X is equal to C, so therefore C squared is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So C is equal to the square root of 77 squared. Oh, this is 88 squared because this is R, B, and this is R, A. A is 88 squared plus 77 squared. So therefore, if we're going to compute that one using your calculator, the result is... Okay, so that is approximately, if we're going to have that one, that is 120 by the use of significant figures, which is two significant figures like this. Okay, the given is in two significant figures, so therefore the answer should be two significant figures. So this is C is nautical mile. Okay. So now we are done with number two in finding the problem number two, which is the distance that the ship is from the port. Okay, this is a ship and this is the port. Next, we have problem number three. A plane flies 1.3 R at 110 miles per hour and the bearing of 38 degrees. It then returns and flies 1.5 are the same speed on the bearing of 128 degrees. How far is the plane from the starting point? So the first thing that we're going to do again is we're going to create here. So if we're going to start with, we have to draw first a plane here representing this part right here. Next is a plane starts at the bearing of 38 degrees, so he heading here, so going here, this is 38 degrees. So 1.5 R, so therefore we have to get the distance is equal to the rate times time. So D is equal to, the rate is 110 miles per R times the time of 1.3 R. Okay, so D is equal to 110 times 3, that is equal to 143, cancel this part, 143 miles. And we have here the next part, the same speed, 1.5, so our D is equal to 110 miles per hour times 1.5 r so cancel so our d here at this point is 165 miles so we're going to compute this this is 143 miles and heading here another okay going the speed of the bearing of 128 so starting here this is 128 90 90 the extra of this part is 38 okay 128 so the bearing here is going here that is 165 miles so this is 38 degrees again this is alternate interior angles as they therefore this is 38 degrees and we have if this is 38 degrees of course this is 52 degrees by complementary angles so understood this is 90 degrees so we are going to find the how far is the plane the distance between the plane to the starting point if this is a starting point going to the plane uh, this is the plane okay so this is the plane if the, her name this is our a this is our b uh, this is our c and this is our b 
So this is side B, which is 43, and this is a side A, and this is our C. So to find for the distance of this one, C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So therefore, C is equal to the square root of A is 165 squared plus 143 squared. So if we're going to calculate this one, that is equal to, and that is approximately in three, two significant figures because two significant figures here. So therefore, you have 220 marks. All right. So again, this is two significant figures because zero is not considered here a significant figure based on this trigonometry. Okay, so 220 degree, 20 miles rather. So that is all about problem number three. So next we have problem number four. A ship leaves it home, its home port in sails in a bearing of south 61 degrees 50 minutes east. Another ship leaves the same port at the same time in sails in the bearing of north 28 degrees and 10 minutes east. If the first ship sails at 24 miles per hour and the second sails at 28.0 miles per hour, find the distance between the two ships after 4 hours. So we are going to find first the same way. We are going to find the distance here. Okay, the distance is 24 times 4. So 24 times 4, that is 96 miles. Okay, 96 miles. And for the distance 2, okay, so we have 28 times 4, that is equal to 112 miles. We'll just compute first the distance because we'll make use of that one later. So we have your first step, okay. We make here a ship leaves in the port sailings in the bearing of south 61 degrees east 61 degrees and 15 minutes east so south here 61 going here 61 degrees so this is 61 degrees and 50 minutes next we have another ship leaves in the same port same port here and the same and sails to the north, 28 degrees, 28 degrees, and 10 minutes. And the first ship sails at 24, at 4 hours and 28. So therefore, the first ship is 96. So the distance here is 96.0 miles. And this one is 112 miles. So take note, if this is 61 degrees and 15 minutes, this is subtracted to make it uh, 90 degrees. This is 28 degrees and 10 minutes, right? Okay, so next we have here, this is 61 degrees and 15 minutes. So therefore, this is a right angle. So if this is a right angle, we could make this of Pythagorean theorem. So this is 96. And this is one. So this is the ship one, and this is the ship two. I oh, know this is the ship one because this is the first ship, and this is their ship number two. So we're going to compute here the ship. So we're going to compute the x here because the distance between two ships after four hours. So since this is 90 degrees, we'll make use of Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorems could be we have x is equal to side here. We'll name this one as C, A, and B for easier location. So we have here, this is our B, side B, and this is our C, and this is our A. So therefore, x is equal to c. Okay, so therefore, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So c 
is equal to 9 square root of 96.01 square plus 112 square. So if we're going to compute that using calculator, the result is this. So therefore, if that is in three significant figures, okay, we're focusing in three significant figures here, same way with this. So therefore, the answer would be 148 miles because that is 0.5 preceded by an odd number. So therefore, we have 148 miles. So that is all about problem number four. So take note of that. You could repeat if you have doubt or you have something that you did not able to get it. Okay, so now let's try this. Okay. So problem from a ship to lighthouses bear, bear 9 north 40 degrees east after the ship sails at 50 knots on a course of 135 degrees for 1 hour and 20 minutes. The lighthouses bear 10 degrees and 45 degrees. Find the distance from the ship in, in the latter position to the farther lighthouse and find the distance between the lighthouses. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this YouTube channel and our get our topics all about bearing. I hope you learn something out of my discussion. So thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe. God bless and good day everyone.